Hey guys, News in Alaska here. I've got some disturbing videos to show you. This first one is Robert Bodell. He was tased twice, maced, and beat up by the Alaska State Troopers. Here's a photo of him here. Um, yeah, here, let's uh, let him explain what happened. Oh yeah, he's 71 years old. This is what happens when you exercise your rights to remain silent to the Alaska State Troopers. This wasn't all they did to me. Before this, they tased me two times and gassed me before he beat me. In jail, they made fun of my face. The second day I was there, one of the guards had a big old smile on his face and said, Gee, you're looking pretty good today. That was two days ago. <laughs> they gave me and made me wait to go to court an extra day because I said the officer beat, tased, and maced me because I observed my right to remain silent. The guard says, well, you can go to court tomorrow, then you can wait an extra day. False imprisonment, no jury, no judge no law. <laughs> they made fun of my prostate cancer because I shit myself five or six times. One of the guards kept asking, well, I don't see why you can't make it to the toilet. I'm sleeping right next to it. I told him I had prostate cancer and he laughed. I have three cancers. I have prostate cancer. I have uh, skin cancer. I don't know if I can get it up here. Uh, I can't get my hand right. And skin cancer. I was hospitalized two times in two days for apparent seizures. It turned out that the shakes I already had were made worse by the beatings. The hospital gave me some meds for my shakes and that helped with the seizures. The doctor said sometimes that I was even unresponsive and incoherent. But I can't take any more of it because it gives me the shits worse than I already have. On top of all of this, they charged me with assaulting a police officer. That means I'm probably going to do 10 years in prison. That means I'm going to die in prison for nothing. Yeah, so that's Robert Bodell. Um, he's got a YouTube channel. He's got quite a bit of video on this. Um, I highly recommend you go and you check it out his YouTube. Um, make sure to comment and let him know uh, News Now Alaska sent you. Uh, 
This next video is Polar Press uh, at a council meeting getting kicked out uh, and arrested and he goes back and gets kicked out again. Again, Polar Press. What are you going to do, Bushu? Mr. Mayor, what you doing? Now it's time for you to what the hell are you doing? Hey, Jesus name! What are you all doing? Cards! Cards! Have a blessed evening, everyone. Good night, Adam. Y'all are a bunch of tyrants. But you should be ashamed of yourself. In Jesus' name, stop harassing me. Stop harassing me. Stop harassing me. What? For what? For what? This is Polar Press going back a different day, different incident. I was sure with Williams. I'll save my vote to the end. Uh, keep you from shrinking on the edge of your seats. Uh, so I'd like to say that through the chair, I'd like to make an amendment to this that we need to rename it. It needs to be called the First Amendment Death Ordinance. Death to the First Amendment. Death to the Constitution. It could also be called the futile attempts by the petty chair of France to jail Niall Sherwood Williams. That could also be what it's called. See, what you're clarifying here through the chair is because we the people actually control this assembly chambers. Through the chair, not you, Miss LaFrance. Through the chair, not anybody else. It's we the people. This is our assembly chambers. We control the meeting. We control the management. We control the freedom of the speech. We control the right to peaceably assemble. So thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for bringing light to the fact that you are a petty little tyrant who seeks to wage warfare on the freedom of speech of every Anchorage citizen. And by the way, there's a reason why the First Amendment is number one. Madam Chair. Go ahead, Ms. AQD. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Could you please ask? See through the chair when I'm speaking to the effect on the community. I'm not attacking you personally. I'm attacking your decisions as a lawmaker, as an elected official. So when I speak out, loudly against your tyrannical actions, I have a right to do so. And so does every other member in this room, by the way. So stop repeatedly censoring me. I disciplined you like a little child at the beginning through the chair, and I'll do it once again. I'm having trouble hearing you through your face diaper through the chair. I'm hard of hearing and there's there's plastic between me madam chair I'm having a tough time hearing can you please speak up through your face diaper through the chair member constant So is it okay if I remove the barrier then, Mr. so I can hear better? So I'm not allowed to have a hearing condition Mr. in the assembly chambers. Okay, security, please, Mr. I'll be more than happy to leave.
Really? Are you fucking serious? You kidding me? Get, don't even touch me. Stay the hell away from me. Fucking tyrants. Once again, once again, you're, you're kicking me out of it. Don't step in front of me. I'm going out this door. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. I'm going out the emergency exit. Thank you. Thank you. Will you please get out of my way? Please. It's still recording, by the way. Yeah, are you kidding me, bro? Get the fuck out of my way and stop holding me hostage. That's a felony. That's a felony to... <laughs> yeah, that's Polar Press. Uh, go check his channel out. Um, he's got quite a bit of content. Let him know that uh, News Now Alaska sent you. Um, he's pretty funny in some of his videos. Uh, here's another video. I think this is from Amy. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll have to put it in the, in the description. Um, this is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, for running a stop sign, this is the treatment she gets. Did you violently open my door for? <laughs> I'll give you my license number. Give me your license number. Get out of the vehicle. For what reason? Get out of the vehicle. Why? Get out of the vehicle. No, you you're scaring me. You just ripped my... Seconds. You are scaring me. You're going me. to the back of my car right now. For what? Because he's got a warrant. I haven't go done anything. It. I'm you not him. You feel who is signed right no, now. No, I did I not. No, I did not. How did I fail to yield? No, you yank me out of the vehicle. I want another officer here. Yep, I'm waiting for one, but who was yeah. that? Who was that? Fucking Andy. Andy who? Spears. Okay, so how come you're not being cooperative right now? What? You, because you are scaring the shit out of me. Okay. So you want to yank, you want to yank me out of my vehicle for failing to yield? Are you serious? Like Get out now. Okay, but I you're scaring me. Get like out. why are you gonna gang? Get out. Why get out? I don't wanna get out until the other cop is here. He's right there. Get the uh, Well when he gets here, I will get out of the vehicle. You're gonna get out now. When he yeah, you're scaring the shit out of me. Okay, get out. He's here. Get yes, out. I will get, get out. out. Don't touch me, please. Get out. Get out. Please don't what the fuck? What the fuck? Not Here's a screenshot of her channel. Uh, this next video is crazy. These guys are driving down the highway. There's a trooper slowing everybody down, and the passenger decided to film it. And this is what happened. This is a shot of his YouTube page. I recommend checking him out. This was back in 2010. Doing, motherfucker? What the fuck are you what doing? What the fuck are you doing? Registration proof of insurance. Turn your phone off, sir. You're going to jail. For what, sir? You know what I mean? No, I really don't. Turn it on. Are you serious right now? 
Are you serious? ID, please. Are you serious, sir? Are you fucking serious, Criminal man? Insurance, please. You know what this? this I can't fucking you know believe you, Mr. Adams. Is at 65 miles I can't an hour, believe sir? you, man. Do you know what the stopping? Do, the just get on with your shit. Just get on with it. Okay. I cannot believe you just did that. I cannot fucking believe this shit, man. Wow. How about a current address for you? So it's not current on your registration. It's Let not even my it. car. Let me see the registration. Sir, turn your video off of your phone now. Why, sir? Because. Under what regulations do you have to tell me I can do that? Just turn it off. Uh, no, no, no. Tell me why. Would you mind pulling over a little bit more? You're too far on the road. I'll be right with you. Thank you. Okay, so this next one is from Northern Corruption Monitor 907. Um, this is in Palmer, Palmer Courthouse. Um, give you a little context of what's going on. So he goes to the Palmer Courthouse, does a walk around on the outside of the property and through the parking lot, and um, gets arrested as he's leaving. Um, so what I want to show you here is the um, uh, Matsu Bureau um, parcel viewer. So you can see here, that's the, the courthouse, the DMV, and uh, whatever else is in that building, public building. You can see who owns it. You click on um, um, parcel viewer, and it shows you the taxes, um, the estimated, um, you know, uh, value of the property who owns the property and you can also go over to the right there PFD printout you can print out a copy it's public information this is where I get my Matsu Valley um, uh, information when I go to look at properties to see where the property lines are who owns it and whatnot this is him going around the outside um, you just saw him going in there here he goes in the red the white building there in front right there that with the red roof that's the courthouse okay so he's going through the parking lot of the dmv area and the dmv is right there that's the dmv entrance for palmer okay and then he leaves that's that's what they're talking about when they said that when they're saying that he violated his terms of probation because he went in the exclusion zone um, I'm just doing this in fast forward to show you where he was um, because well, it, it'll make sense here in a second when we um, get back to um, his explanation and the response from him going into the DMV area um, by the courthouse. Technically, I guess it is the courthouse property, but it's all in one property. And right there where those vehicles are, it looked like a supervisor, some supervisor in plain clothes, but it was a state trooper. And he ran at me yelling, stop, you're under arrest. Because in the Matsu pretrial public entrance, the DOC guard radioed and told the state troopers that I was trying to portray myself as an officer. They dropped that felony now they're upholding the introduction of contraband into a facility for going into the public entrance way, also trespassing, which is false. When I did the audit around the Kena, uh, the Palmer Courthouse here, I'm not allowed to go to the JSO area, and that's the wooded fence area. I can't go back over there in any way. And so that's basically why my GPS was going off, because they have it programmed. When I come within vicinity of this place, it goes off. But it is the wooded area, the JSO area at the Palmer Courthouse that Sergeant Crockett arrested me at. And when I first initially went, there was no signage on that parking on a big open 
no gate parking lot at the end of the courthouse. It's called the JSO area. He arrested me for going into that area. He arrested me because I was carrying a camera and he didn't like being put on film. It was after the arrest that he put the signs up outside the entrances. I tried educating him. When that video comes out, you will see what went down. And to this day, nine months later, the Palmer prosecutor has not placed those videos into discovery. The first time I went to jail, when they arrested me over here on the sidewalk, they took me inside. I was in jail for five days. It is extremely difficult to bail out of this Matsu pretrial. They do not accept cash at this jail. You have to actually go through the website or go over to the courthouse and you have to use a card physically to bail people out. So I was in there for five days and my dog was home alone. He almost died because the DOC guards here would not give me a phone call. When you go into jail nowadays, it's called COVID protocol. It's basically 24 seven lockdown, like administrative seg. You're, you're locked down and they treat you like you're locked down. 24 seven, you get, you get out of your cell once a day for about 20 minutes. Here's what happened after he went on DMV property. Hi, Mr. Allen. All right, I'm coming out. Thank you, Turn around for me. You're under arrest for violating your conditions of release. Like I said, you are being placed under arrest for violating your conditions of release. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can never be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. And to have that attorney present if you doing any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you at no charge. And you can choose to exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? Yes? I'm going to take that as yes. Is there anything in your pockets that can hurt me? Guns, knives, needles. And we'll do a quick pat down search down here, just so that we're out of the uh, corridor here. And please be careful, it's a little slippery with all the ice. Can I bail out tonight? We will have to wait until court. We have the arraignment uh, Monday. Why can't I bail out? The court's not open right now. For an arraignment. <clears throat> well, I have to. I have to call somebody about my pug. When we get through the medical portion of the booking process, I'll let you grab phone numbers and stuff off your phone, and you are welcome to make phone calls. Do a basic pat down to make sure you don't have any weapons or anything that's going to hurt me. What is for that incident number? That's right here. Okay. 
Yeah. Are these the keys? Yeah. Broken in the car? No, I'm good. Uh, I will have to take it when we get into the facility just because there's confidential stuff there that you can't be recording. Uh -oh. it's, it's fine if you want to have it back here. Okay. okay. Alright. Yeah, I didn't I didn't enter any exclusion zone, but I appreciate your cooperation. So after that arrest, they sent him home with some paperwork. This is absolutely insane. Check it out. Hey guys. Uh, you're watching Northern Corruption Monitor 907 in Anchorage, Alaska. I just wanted to show you a real quick um, rundown of all the places in Alaska that I'm not, all my exclusion zones. Uh, this one here is Palmer, Alaska, the Palmer State Courthouse. This one here is the Fairbanks State Courthouse. This one here is the Kenai State Courthouse. Uh, this one here is Galena. Let's see, Galena State Courthouse. This one here is the Bethel State Courthouse. This one here is the Valdez State Courthouse. This one here is Delta Junction. Uh, up in the north, uh, around, um, up towards Fairbanks. And this one here is the Homer State Courthouse. And this one here is the Seward State Courthouse. This one here is the Cordova State Courthouse. This one here is the 4th Avenue downtown Nesbitt Courthouse, where I was just at, trying to talk to my lawyer. And they included the youth court. I guess that's a courthouse. It's across from the Nesbitt courthouse. It's a youth court. So I'm not even allowed to go down that street at all. Uh, the Boney courthouse, which is the uh, the old Anchorage courthouse downtown. Glen Allen. The US courthouse and federal building and we were driving by that in the lift and it went off. So, and that was, let's see, yeah, that was on A Street right here. Or no, wait, it was on C Street. So if you look here to here, uh, I can't go. This is the road we went down on my lift when I got out of jail and my, uh, my beeper started going off. And so they could have came and got me again. Um, and this is the Palmer Courthouse here. And so during this last bail hearing, instead of admitting they were wrong and uh, that it was not an exclusion zone that I had went in, they instead have increased it to every courthouse within 500 feet. Uh, Northern Corruption Monitor 907 reporting out um, your state of uh, constitutional rights in Alaska. I'll talk to you guys later. Wow. He can't go within 500 feet of any courthouse in the state of Alaska. That's insane. You guys starting to see a pattern here? Is Constitution gone? Is there no law and order? Um, this next one, he's at the probation... Enforcement Division filming because he has an appointment. Okay, go ahead. Stand up. You cannot film on the yesterday. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Can I get my keys to the driver down there? Yeah, never mind. What, what am I being charged with? Just tell me you're under arrest for violation of the at least you have to remain silent. I mean, you say it can't be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. To Here's some stuff I found uh, online 
uh, the Constitution of the State of Alaska. Just some interesting stuff. Thought a few of you might like that, um, or at least find it interesting. Um, yeah, go subscribe to uh, Robert Bodell. Um, show him some love. Um, let him know that uh, News Now Alaska sent you over. And um, he's got a lot of a lot of more a lot more video um, on what happened and what happened afterwards. Um, he's got uh, you know some. Some pretty interesting stuff. They, they, they messed with him pretty bad. Um, yeah, he's eight, seventy-one years old, and they, they just, it's, it's, it's insane the way they treated him. Um, and and uh, Nor Northern uh, Corruption Monitor nine hundred seven, go, go over there and uh, show him some love too. Tell him that uh, News Now Alaska sent you over. Um, subscribe and. Um, <clears throat> You know, we need to sh we need to show him some support. Uh, so yeah, he's been fighting this for quite a while. Uh, his the cost for his lawyer is extreme. Um, he might need to he might need some help. We might need to set up a GoFundMe or a fundraiser of some kind to help him. Um, I think he's going to have to take it uh, all the way to the Supreme Court. Um, I I don't think they're gonna let up on him. Um, I mean, maybe if you guys if we band together and we all, you know, start making phone calls and uh, you know do what we do, um, maybe we can maybe we can get it squashed. Uh, but if not, you know, we'll we're we're gonna have to you know see what we can do to support him. So. Um, I've got an announcement coming up in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching News Now Alaska. Um, I'll talk to you guys on the next one.